Hello everyone and welcome back to Seasonal Watch. Today we're watching Shinobi no Itoki, episode 3. So, we basically got the prologue done. We got Itoki to know about the ninja world, we got him to accept the ninja world, and to take the exam to get into the ninja academy. Um, Kosatsu is going with him. She aced the test. And while he didn't exactly pass the test as it should be, they accepted him because of his kind heart, since he did all that to save the people, get them away from the scene, so that no innocent can be involved. And while I do call a bit of BS on that, because that happened after the test was over, like, I'll let us lie this time. So yeah, he, while he doesn't really have the ninja abilities and confidence, he is very athletic with gymnastics and everything, and he does have some brains up to him, because he did hear about the fire jutsu and water jutsu that he thought was like animes and stuff, and then she was explained that he can't just create that for nothing and everything, and he took that into consideration and made his own water style and fire style jutsu to make the fire alarm and the sprinkler to go off to turn off the camel suit. So he has some brains. He can think up a, up a strategy. That was a bit mix, mix up, but you get the point. So yeah, now we're going to head into the Ninja Academy, which I guess it's going to be where the main stuff goes for this plot. At least a season if we ha ever get any more. Um, we have Suzaku, which I'm guessing is going to be going there. He's from the, the Kujo clan and he has burning hatred for the Iga clan. I, st I said Kujo? I meant Kuga. Kuga clan and he has a burning hatred for the Iga clan. I imagine that was just um, printed on him for, since young because of the adults around him. I don't think he has a personal vendetta, really, because there's the whole thing about the dead ancestor, which, by the way, um, Itoki's mom and Tokisada talked about the villain at the very end of the last episode, how they were talking about that, like, what do you think about that? Is it true? Um, and they decided that they believe there's a traitor among them. So there is a traitor in the Iga clan that's probably the one that killed the Koga clan's um, ancestor. Their old leader. And since then they've been at a rivalry. So we ha have an enemy in the Koga clan and somebody in the Iga clan that we don't know of, which we'll probably know in the future. Um, Tsubaki is another person that was against us. But at the end of the episode, it seemed that she was assassinated because of her failures and getting caught. So while she was in prison, she seems to have been killed. Once again, I expected to see her again, but did not expect it to end like that. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think we cover all points, so I'm curious to see how this Ninja Academy is. Are we going to have any ninja courses? Or is it just going to be a normal school with people with ninja abilities? As a reminder, this is a time reaction, which means you sync up your own version with mine and we'll watch it together. I'll try to add some scenes here and there, but don't expect too much. And with that being said, let's get started. Three. Two, one, go. Oh, I guess this is in his old school. Where are you, though? Oh, look at those tears. Yeah, he's gonna miss us. <laughs> His old life. Up, 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 up. 
Still episode 3, I'm going to be watching the opening and ending and hearing it on episode 4. Unless somebody tells me, like, there's spoilers and stuff that I should what avoid and should wait a bit longer, but... Yeah, otherwise I'm just going to watch the next episode. But not this episode. Not yet. Now the question is figure out when to start watching. Um, no, we're still one minute. I haven't... I forgot what time it was when it started. Um, so... Yeah, he's graduating from his old school. Leaving his friends behind because he's going to the Ninja Academy in Tokyo. And he feels sad because he's feeling that... That youth that he loved so much behind. Because they were like that... That... Been tread of just enjoying his youth... But now he's going to leave that behind for the ninja world. Because they're going after him. Like it or not. Um, so, yeah. I For a second, I thought it was a new ninja school. But it makes more sense to be the old school. Oh. Perks of Fate. Tuxana Kosetsu with him. True boss characters. That was a weird fate black. I get the point, but it just was weirdly done. Oh, Tuxad is not going with them? I mean, do you see a train? What is this music? Just be patient. Oh, some ruins, a beach, an old palace style. Basically like a mul multiple island situation. That's the Ninja Academy. That's how they hide it from the world, I guess. Already looking for a cute girl. Don't you learn... What happened last time you start to go out with a girl? Ryoko Suzunone. Suzunan. Ryoko. Kokuten Ninja Academy. She went another way. Oh, look who it is, Suzaku. And he recognized him right away. Oh, I guess they all recognized. And I feel like she's just saving him there. She was just... Yeah. Koga elites. So they are all Kogas, not just Suzaku. <coughs> Kirei. <laughs> I mean, if you say I'm free, I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> Everyone heard about the Ego Ninjas, except him.
Kirei. Kirei, Ryoko. I give him this for a hundred times. No discovery, no killing, no betrayal. Oh, not to be discovered. Oh. If you're not found out, you're okay. Wait, does that mean that if you kill but nobody finds out plus you, it's okay? Okay, so not to be discovered, not to be... And not to kill, and not to betray. <laughs> she does not look pleased. Ninja Mew. It's nasty. What feeling? What is getting Ninja Mew House to do with this? But yeah, he's from the Iga clan. Like, he just needs to like this, then they're gonna hate him. And she's a type of friend that runs away when trouble arrives, huh? She did save him the first time, to be honest. Oh, look who's talking. Nope, he's as clueless as they get. But because one person from the Iga clan killed him. Yeah, they'll never forget the Iga clan. So yeah. It makes sense that a betrayal there would cause such an impact. I'm just curious, like, why they wanted this to happen. Uh -huh. I see. So you're saying somebody manipulated that Iga clan to be to betray and kill. Wow, he just did two of the things that you're not supposed to do. And we got the rundown from Dorm. <laughs> of course, Koga have. Oh, Kitty have been nice. Yeah, she left. Because that's just falling silently. And just coming in. Somebody you know? You... <laughs> like she's acting all gross out and everything. Okay, two classes for an exercise. Ninja suits and ninja core. And Yoko's there, because she's from the other class. Yeah, except he didn't. Ninja Core recognize. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's the ninja suit. Go to the roof of the tower. Bring back a manju. Oh, so there's kind of like a time limit. So there might not be enough for everyone if it takes too long. Use what you learn in middle school. In Tokyo, we have a problem here. There's the music. I think this is the same music we had when he was parkouring. Oh, he's just stuck still, huh? Yeah, they're already thinking about that. And he has a bodyguard. A really good bodyguard. Wait, there's somebody else. It's Ryoko also. Hmm. I I thought she was gonna like change the settings and oh, I guess she's also doing that but she also is a geek for this stuff Yeah, like, she loves this whole talk about the course. The course and suits. She really talks. And the music? <laughs> Yeah, and it's also protective on defense. So she's gonna be going along with him, huh? So she has abilities. Why, why does she stay back? I'm a little suspicious after the whole Tsubaki thing. But yeah, could it be also a nice rest from the Saiga village. They've been producers, that's why she has that interest in the... Yeah. I could tell. I could tell. Yeah, that's a talk for later. Of course, oh, because that's right behind him. And yeah, he went on the offensive there. So Zaku is the first one. And then Cosette's. And people just, oh, there's Kire. Okay, she was like in top five, six, kind of. And she's keeping it. And then Suzak's coming through. 
Oh, she protected him. <laughs> Kitty's hair is very bit long. And wow, that's how they they do their thing. He noticed Kitty's situation. He's gonna help out Kitty. Oh, look at that broken watch. Yeah. Koga Clan. Of course, who would it? Who, who else would it be? What would qualify as being found out? Yeah, those Koga people just attacking people instead. He has a good heart, but does he have the abilities for this? Oh, Yoko made it. And he's watching them fighting. But yeah, it's also like 3v1. And they try to, try to break the core. Yeah, he learned that. He's trying to go for his core instead? It's like he's holding on to something. Okay, principal. I'm in. To be fair, the principal was the one that got him him into the school. Yeah, that's why he was voting. He got the manju. Yeah, it's hers. Yeah, now he's realizing what what happened there. Oh, and he's carrying her too. Look at that. It does seem like you made two new friends there. <laughs> oh, I feel like... Oh. Oh, insane. No. Yeah. Once again, he showed heart. I. He started talking before I could mention, but yeah, 
with one left, it's kind of dangerous. Like, he ate that. So he... Uh-uh. We have Kosetsu, Ryoko, and Kirei. Yeah, just go for what you want, don't... Oh, and you still went for the... Yeah, Ninja <laughs> Mew. <laughs> and see, Ryoko's joining. And there's Kirei. Like I said, he's not alone. He has Kosetsu, Ryoko, and Kirei. Ah. Uh. Ed's playing, so yeah, like I said said before, I can be a little suspicious of Ryoko, but for the most part, I'm choosing to believe her. Call me naive, all you want, but yeah, I'm definitely the type of guy that would fall for that stuff. Not Tsubaki's, because she was way too straightforward with that. Like, I definitely found something strange there. That she was being way too straightforward with it. Like, she confessed to him, went on a date, and then immediately uh, went to her house, and she stripped. Like, girl, we just met. Like, but yeah. But that's nice that he made some new friends. I do wonder if he's gonna make any male friends. Or it's just gonna be the girls. Maybe at some point he can warm up Suzaku. Gonna be a bit tough, but who knows? Might be wishful thinking on my part. Um, No idea how cool we're done with the ending. I'm just looking at the timer right here. Oh, it's back. Intel present infiltrate Koga. And there it is, just... Was that all? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, that was all. I need to be very careful with that, because they have a... Post credit scene and then immediately jump to preview right after it. So yeah, always gonna catch me off guard. So we got the beginning of the Ninja Academy, which is dominated by the Kobe Clan. Like they mentioned before, they have money, they have power and everything, but in the in the academy, like they're very dominant. And that was supposed to be where he's safest. See, right. But yeah, like, nobody but the Koga clan can eat anything but a ninja meal. Uh, the Koga clan has amazing norm, but you guys have to stay on the Chevy. Chevy hot. ごんがあ、ここが量。They're just threatening people to take their manju instead of going pick their own. Granted, it's not everyone. Suzaku was doing his job and got there first, showing his superior superiority. Oh my god, that that's such a hard word to say, but you get it. 
And yeah, so Cosette's is so awesome, got their second. And she protected um, Itoki on the way back. So she's still showing that she's capable. But Suzaku is even more capable than her. Meanwhile, the rest of the code clans pre trench into just their bullies. The short of it, that's that they're bullies. And then they were even talking about, like, eh, because that's you, you don't have to just follow them, you can just pick whatever you want to eat, right? Ninja Man. And we're gonna slowly get there, like. Maybe that was too big of a push. We'll slowly get there. But hey, at least we're not alone, because we met Ryoko and Kide. And they're part of our little group now. So, Ryoko, we met her right as we arrived in the Ninja Academy. Um, he got um, dazzled by her. And just, they greeted each other, made introductions and everything. But at the exercise with the two classes together so when she really helped him out with his suit i guess because he knew she knew he was a beginner so she was curious how he was gonna react with the suit that's why she stayed back i'm guessing also she doesn't seem like the most physically capable though of course she's not like itoki that's inexperienced really But yeah, she was just messing around the suit like she loves Ninja Tech. Like the short end of it. The Saiga Clan. Which reminds me, I don't think we got Kirei's clan. Um, so Kirei. Which... She helped him out in the first time he bumped the Koga Elites. But on the second time, they were just confronting him. She just bailed on him. She did apologize later and told him, like, you know, next time, you should bail too. But, yeah. When she got attacked, she tried to fake it out, but he knew that that wasn't it, so she admitted it. And he helped her out. Not only did he take her manju back, but also carried her up to the bridge where he asked Ryoko to help her out for that rest. Um, so yeah, Kitty is like that good friend, though not always reliable, <laughs> not always you can rely on. Who knows, maybe later as they get closer, she will be there every time and not just leave when the situation gets bad. なんでこれ目つけられるから。コウガの忍者は金持ちからもある。数も圧倒的だし、まず勝ち目はないから。コウガの生徒とは極力関わらない方がいい。あ、おいおい。何見てんだ。ごめん、急用ができる気がしてき
け取れない<laughs> 俺のじゃないよ But they both already acknowledge Hitoki as he has a good heart and he fought them for Kirei. And he wasn't just fighting them just to fight, but he actually took the manju. And I noticed the moment he took it because he was holding like this and was not opening up his arms. So yeah, you could tell like he was holding something. I wasn't sure if that was it or if he like pick the core out of the other suit but then again if that was the case I think the suit would have just um turned off if he took out the core so it made sense to be the mantra if I just stopped to think I would have reached a conclusion like that and yeah the principal saw all that them picking the fight and everything him fighting them and probably also saw him taking the manju as he was even talked to eh, no not then he didn't say then but when uh itoki reached reached the top he talked to him about the whole shinobi is blade and heart you need heart which is something he definitely has he just needs to work on the blade side as he took that manju to help out kirei and took her to the bridge only then did he make his way up the castle but at at that point, there was only one manju left, and that was a dangerous point. I wasn't sure if he'd save that manju for Itoki because of the good act that he did, or if just what happened, really, because... Oh, only one left, and... <laughs> Itoki failed his first plot. ただし、学園長は大の万獣好きだ。学園長の食欲があるかぎり、万獣の数が減っていくから注意するように。何のご用ですか万獣長だい。え奪っちゃいけないなんてルール。ねえだろ。取ったものを返せ。ああ、何の